Hello and welcome back to Kona! We are here at the general store that we need to go inside and meet somebody at, I suppose. Uh, okay, I don't know what I'm looking for in here. I think it's milk. The milkman had to drive by every week to fill the bottle. The fresh milk indicated a recent visit. Okay, so somebody's been here recently. I'm assuming there's going to be nobody inside, if I had to guess. But let's find out. Oh, no, there's somebody inside, all right. Carl had no trouble recognizing his employer. He had been killed. There was no need to be a detective to figure that out. But only a detective could have noticed that the killer had to have been very close. That the fatal blow had been given before the victim even realized. And there's a single bloody handprint just on his chest. Yeah, let's take a picture of this. I think that's uh, important. Let's, uh, let's get a good shot here. Look at his hands. What's going on there? Yep, I'm gonna keep that one. Oh, I'm a photographer now, am I? Okay, well that's kind of interesting that I can do some of that stuff. Let's put our... How do I take the camera out? Is it... No, I don't know how to do it. I have no idea how to do it. Equipment. That's how we would do it. And then we pull up the camera that way. Well, I inspected, but nothing happened. Oh, there it is. The place is a mess. I do like that style of investigation where it's popping up on things. It's very noir-esque. What could be inside that envelope? Carl was taken aback. He knew this address. It was said to be the address of the P.O. box for the Canadian Secret Service. How did he know that? You just know the address for the Canadian Secret Service? Mr. John Va, Montreal. But it seems like there's, uh, we can't actually see what's inside. There's, it's been ripped out. Can I inspect him further? Carl felt a chill down his spine and had a terrifying realization. If Hamilton was dead, then who was going to pay him? Wow. Really? That's what you're worried about? Okay. Well, can I put this camera away? I don't think I need it for anything right now. An explosion suddenly occurred outside. That's bad. I would assume, uh... There's like a generator blowing or something. Oh, but it doesn't look good. Carl knew that Gilles Lachance was in charge of the general store. That made him one of Hamilton's employees. A very angry employee, as Carl could plainly see. You know what, Hamilton? I have a frog in my throat. And when people have a frog in their throat, they do not take risks by going to work. Customers should catch it, right? I'm a wise man. Not to worry, I'll have a nice doctor's note, which I'm going to get right now. Sadly, in the meantime, I'll have to close down the shop unless you'd like to come fill in for me. I wouldn't dare advise you, after all. You must know how it's done since it's yours now. With kind regards, your dedicated manager, Jill. Interesting. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the pump here if I can. I don't know if it'll actually work because the power's out. And now I can't see to pick up anything. It's just indicated at the top left there. So I've got no choice. I've got to go outside. A radiator without power is as good as a wood stove without logs. All right, let's go see what that explosion was in the back. Oh, there's paws leading away. That seems very bad. Carl was used to strange phenomena. But a chunk of ice like this? As if an iceberg came out of the ground? That was a first. I am going to keep that one. It has the paws leading away and everything. Carl found a surprise at every turn. What? Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off there. Is the camera faulty? Or was it a possible lead? All the lights are still off back here.
the note, explained that the garage and the store couldn't be supplied with electricity at the same time. Oh. So the garage maybe currently has power? The note explained that the garage and the store couldn't be supplied with electricity at the same time. Great. So we're going to have to go make sure that the generator is off over here at the garage. I don't really want to be out here. Oh, God, there's more pods leading that way. And they just suddenly stop right here. Why? Let it be known. Hate was in the air. Seems like some villagers barely tolerated each other. Let it be known you're nothing more than a brigand. A robber, a garage hoarder, a viper, a leech, a monster. You're holding a knife at my throat. Too bad for me, but never finished. Interesting. It's getting a little cold out here. We should probably get inside very soon if we can. I don't see any paws here, but there's definitely animals out there. Shit. I need a key. That's just going to make getting back and forth a little bit easier. Okay, I need to find a key somewhere. Something fell to the bottom of the box. And the key has to be in here, right? I would imagine by the desk somewhere. Is it in the register, maybe? There's the garage key. Yeah, nothing's working there. I'm sure we could figure it out, but I can't even see what it says. No matter. We've got the key to the garage. Oh, sorry. The garage entrance is actually on this side. I forgot. I was going to walk all the way around and not realize it. And none of you were going to tell me, were you? Closing that behind me. Don't really want to get run into by any animals here. There's nothing in the car. Staring intently at the controls won't be enough to make that lift budge. The poor thing was out of power. Oh boy, we're going to have to look through all these drawers full of tools. Oh, there's something. Got some pliers. And some hardware. Okay, well we got a, a few things. I don't know how long this battery lasts, or if it lasts forever. At least we know it's fragile. Yeah, we figured that part out. Sorry about that, that's Windows 10 alerting me to the Texas Rangers losing to the Houston Astros. Don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. I wish I had remembered to turn that off. The cleanest spot in the area is the cleaning tools. Go figure. I don't know where to look to, to turn off the... Where do I turn off the generator here? Staring intently at the controls won't be enough to make that lift budge. The poor thing was out of power. Alright, well that didn't work out for me. Surely somewhere... I can turn off the power here to the garage. I just don't know how to do it. Well, here's the generator. Maybe we can mess with that. Carl was no electrician, but he could identify a wiring problem when he saw one. All right, we're close, but we we need some need some tape. Where do we get tape from? Oh boy, we passed it up somewhere, I'm sure. general store also serves as a post office for the locals. That makes sense. Got some fire starters here. Surely you can find tape in a general store, right? Place is a mess. Yeah, you know, I figured that part out already. I was already all over that part. 
Mysterious unbranded cans. I'm sure uh, Jill could have told us exactly what they were. A broken clock. Somehow still trying to tick even without power. Yeah, I guess let's climb up this ladder. Can't see a thing, but up we go. Uh, cool. I got wine. <laughs> was that was that really what I was after there? It was wine. Got first aid that I actually do need. Where is the bandages and or tape? Whatever that actually is. Okay, yeah, let's look in here. There it is. We found it. And along with some papers, actually. According to that log, it seemed like the whole village owed some money to the general store. Carl was far more interested in the bunch of nearby addresses he had just gotten his hands on, though. Okay, I don't know what I can do with all that, but very cool, I guess. All right, let's go fix this generator, please. Oh, Apple Jacks. Apple Jacks. <laughs> Excellent. I love it. Why, why do I still not have power? I fixed it. I fixed the power. We'll leave that from the power line for a moment while we figure out what to do now. I turned that on, so maybe over here in the garage now we'll be able to operate the lift. That's possible. That's possibly what we were waiting for. Well, there's no lights in here, so that doesn't make me feel great about it. No, we still have no power. Staring intently at the controls won't be enough to make that lift budge. The poor thing was out of power. You know, I probably had to mess with the uh, generator after I fixed the line. I'd be willing to bet that's what I was supposed to do. Now we've got power. And the lights are back on. Excellent. And we found out that only one can operate at a time, so after we're done here, we're going to be able to go over to the garage and operate the lift. Jumping from that height was akin to tempting death. Perhaps that man on the snowmobile had seen enough of this world already. All right, well, power is a good thing. Now we can inspect and look all around the place to find things. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please join me in the next episode when uh, I guess we operate the lift next door. You guys have a good one.